Welcome back to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to tell you from my experience and learning how to overcome the rejections in data science. So I know for some of you, it might be a repetitive process. So maybe you are going for the interview one after another and things are not working out the way you want. So this is a common thing guys. First of all, don't worry about it. I'm going to tell you a few pointers that you should keep in mind, which will make your life easy for the next interview, which will make you think in a positive or optimistic way. So guys, it's not that you are not good and hence you are not getting selected. Let's discuss, let's try to understand few points. Okay. The very first point, the very first point I want you to understand is if it's a selection or if it's a rejection, none of these is personal. Nothing is personal between you and the interviewer. Nothing is personal between you and the HR. It's all about there is a requirement, there is a position. You are there who is getting evaluated for that position. There is somebody else who is also getting evaluated for that position out of you and that other person, whoever fits good, better to that position, that person will be given that position. There is nothing personal about HR, interviewer, interview one, interview two, nothing personal here guys. So keep that in mind and don't take it very personally, both the things, whether you are rejected or you are selected, don't take it, you know, very personally and don't get too much emotionally connected with that. So if you take it as a profession, if you keep it at professional level, if you keep it at little business level, little transaction level, that is a better way of looking at it. Not at the emotional level, not at the personal level, not from the your heart, from the thinking, oh, I could have done that thing really well, oof, I missed it. And nothing is big guys. I keep telling this every time. Even if you miss some opportunities, that's fine. Some bigger opportunities are on your way. Next thing I want to tell you here, guys, there are reasons if you are not selected in an interview. It is not like you are not good. Sometimes your aspirations and organization's demand might not have a sync up. I'll give you a small example, guys. So let's say I run a startup, okay? And there is a very good guy who comes for the interview to me. I am the CEO of that startup, okay? That guy who is coming for the interview is very, very good. Very, very good in data science. All that stuff is good. But once I talk to him or her, I get to know that he or she wants to go to US or UK or Germany and wants to do some masters. Okay. And I, as a CEO of the organization, I want to hire someone who can be with us for the longer period of time. So in the interview, I ask, what is your aspiration? Where do you see yourself in, let's say, one year from now, two years from now? If I get to know that that person wants to do a higher education, then, you know, the person's interest and organization interest are not in sync. Another example, guys, some people might come and say that, you know, I am interested in working in this particular area. So that is my expertise. That is my area of interest. In data science, let me give you an example. In data science, I have seen people who will tell that, uh, you know what, research, uh, more of stats, more of white papers, more of mathematics, that is my area, okay? I am not a coding guy. So, when I talk to you in interview and you kind of present yourself in a way that I am not a coding guy, I am a guy who is more interested in white papers, research, maths part of it, you know, going deeper into algorithms, what's new in deep learning, all that space. And I am looking for someone who can write Python codes, if needed. I'm not saying always write Python codes. If needed, that person should be able to write Python codes. What's happening here? Though the candidate is good, he's very good in uh, research, maths, all that stuff. But the things are not falling in sync with what I want. So that is another reason where your candidate may not be accepted. Some examples I'm giving you guys. I just want to give you confidence that every time you get a rejection, it's not your fault or, you know, 
इट्स नॉट लाइक यू हैव टू वेरी डीपली इंट्रोस्पेक्ट दैट देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग विथ यू और यू आर नॉट डूइंग गुड इन द इंटरव्यू नथिंग लाइक दैट इट कैन हैपन एनी ऑफ द केसेज दैट आई एम गिविंग एग्जाम्पल्स समटाइम्स इट माइट हैपन दैट आई एम लुकिंग फॉर सम वन हु हैज एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ यू नो हैंडलिंग अ टीम मैनेजिंग क्लाइंट्स आर टॉकिंग टू स्टेक होल्डर्स समबडी हु इज़ वेरी गुड इन राइटिंग मे बी कॉम स्किल्स मे बी यू नो राइटिंग ई मेल्स वॉइस कम्युनिकेशन ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर यू नो अबव एवरेज और गुड बट द कैंडिडेट इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट इन दिस एरिया कैंडिडेट इज गुड इन हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस हैंड्स ऑन कोडिंग डेटा साइंस मॉडल ऑल दीज थिंग्स अगेन दी यू नो वॉट आई एम लुकिंग आई एम नॉट गेटिंग हियर समटाइम्स the candidate might be over qualified for the job i am telling you this from my experience guys there are few people whose salary is at a limit you know some organizations cannot give that salary even if they give somehow 2 years 3 years down the line their salary will not increase and eventually that person will quit okay so why an organization will want to invest in that person no right so organizations do not want over qualified people also so i'm just giving you some examples of you know where you can feel or how you can understand that it's not only the way you are thinking there are other factors also okay if you understand these factors guys let me tell you every interview is a new thing okay so there will be a day when um, organizations interest and your interest will be on the same level it will sink it will collide and that day you will be selected so nothing to be afraid about nothing to take personal nothing to be worried about yes you have to introspect you have to see which areas you can do good what are the data science questions you could not answer what are the statistics areas you are struggling with those are fine things do an introspection but don't go too deep or don't take it very very personally it might you know it might hamper your confidence okay so just keep in mind that it's not always your fault that's it next is all the things is a fresh start so go with a fresh energy fresh mindset and perform your best that is the only thing in your hands whether it is career whether it is life only thing in our hand is whatever we can do best right so go to interview give your best that's all end of story from your side you have done your part don't bother much about what will happen after that some introspection some improvements some areas where you need improvements you can ask for a genuine feedback you can ask for a detailed feedback if you want and you know based on that you can just work things around okay one last thing i want to add here in this video guys i am taking many many interviews of experienced data scientist people okay 40 plus 40 data scientists many interviews are there i'll be pasting link one by one here and in the description as well why i'm telling you to watch those interviews guys see i'll tell you when you go for an interview right or when you now it's all about video so everything is in video so when you go for video interviews i have been repeatedly telling this guys your audio quality your video quality your light your background your dressing these things you must take care guys believe me it plays a very very important role so once again i want to tell you watch these interviews what the interviews of sopnil what the interviews of another data scientist senior people i have done see how they are sitting in front of camera how their audio quality is so good guys why not yours and mine can be so good their audio quality is so good maybe same internet they are also using we are also using right how they are looking into the camera why we are looking like this or like this sometime why we are doing like this why they are wearing a formal shirt why we are wearing a t-shirt with one button open all these things i have created many videos on these things but i want to reiterate this again guys watch how these people talk how these people give interviews how these people communicate in the video call believe me guys you will learn lot of things okay so just watch these videos so i hope i was able to give you some confidence and some idea on how to tackle with difficult situations right how to deal with rejections how to deal with uh, any problem in data science aspect or be it your real real world real life as well right so give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video 
give me a thumbs up if you think all these points somehow making sense to you and please subscribe to the channel guys if you have not done yet i'll see you all in the next video wherever you are guys stay safe and take care